that's all done that's done drag set I'm gonna let it drop right here three four five six seven eight hold it give it some speed make sure the rod swimming is kicking slow the motor down drop it again one three four five hit the motor make sure it's swimming slow it down let it kick for a little bit we're in 80 foot of water so I'm gonna have to do some inside turns really tight because I'm way out here I need to get my bait right up here against these color changes so I'm gonna hold my line for a second I'm gonna come in we're 60 50 right there baits working I'm gonna adjust the speed of the trolling motor let it fall a little bit hold it go fast with the trolling motor now we got some deep cut rocks we got big boulders down here we're gonna get bit right here guys I'm gonna call right here we're gonna get bit right here over this stuff 62 so we're gonna come across right there going to free spool hold it get a little gas Stop the motor, let it drop back, let it fall, give it a little bit more juice. There we go, right there. Right over those rocks. Now one of these times is gonna be a big one. You just never know, but the structure and everything was perfect. Pretty right fish. There. Maybe it'll maybe it'll unbutton and I don't have to reach down and unhook them. But that was the call right there. Those big chunky broken rocks. That's just good structure and sped the bait up to the, that area. Then then let it fall. Do a directional change. <laughs> Yep. There we go. Check the bait. That make sure the hook's sharp. Sticky sharp gamagatsu. Let's go. Okay. We got some broken off rocks here, so it's not as steep. So we're gonna adjust the speed, we're gonna let it fall back. Big boulders and rocks like that right there, that's the if I can get the boat into that spot. There we go. Oh, God, I'm buttoned. Here we go. There we go. He's in the rocks. Get out of the rocks. Don't lose my, don't lose my lure. Ah, oh, nice. Got mine going. There's 80 foot of water. We got a couple outside points. I'm gonna scoot the bait up here kind of quick. Like it's rushing up to a point. We'll get past it just a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna hook a fish right here. 28 foot perfect depth. We'll run our bait up to it. And we're gonna stop it. Let it flutter. That's how you catch these big fish, man. Bring it right up to the honey hole, the sweet spot, and do a directional change. Right there, I'm right on that corner. That was it, right there. But that's what we're talking about. That, you can almost call your shots if you have good boat control. You know what you're doing. I don't think he's that big, but he definitely was the, the right player. Oh, yeah. Big red and strong too it's gonna be an easy release on that one there you go okay guys look at this cut bank funnel money shot right there i'm about 30 yards behind us we're gonna come up and i'm gonna show you let me get up in the tighter water because i want my bait to come right into that so i got to get up in skinny water
okay? Now I'm gonna bring it up to it. Speed it up, speed it up. Right about there is where I'm doing it. I'm gonna freeze pull it. I'm gonna let that thing drop right there on the money. There it goes. And that's it, right there. That's the spot. So you can call your spot if you understand how the funnel works, directional changes, you're good at boat control. Man, you, you can call your spots and like I said, we just don't know this lake. It's so friggin' massive. If I knew the spots that uh, the big, big fish hung out at, we'd just go hit those spots. But we have to cover a lot of ground and, and, and find these areas and test them out. But right there, it just shows you your capability of understanding everything we teach at the BBZ when you can catch fish almost on demand. Oh, he just unbuttoned. Dang, he just unbuttoned right there. He's about a 45, 50 pounder, but you know, that's small for us.